Now, for my last question. Mm -hmm. Like I said earlier. You can hear me, right? Yeah, I can. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Like I said earlier, I believe uh, Africa can be a developed continent in 30 years. That's my belief. So I want you to envision the kind of Africa you want to see in 30 years. I want a continent that retains its talent. There is a problem with uh, there is a problem with talent retention right now in Africa. Yeah. Everybody in my law school class wants to come to Canada. <laughs> 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 Woo! And law is not the only victim. Yeah. Medicine, IT engineers the moment they have some experience and they qualify for whatever immigration category uk canada us they're gone yeah we might not feel the impact of that no we, we are feeling it we are feeling it we are feeling it's, it. it's, it's gonna be that's worse why we are where we are yeah and it's it has been going on since yeah. the 80s yes is insane. These are people that would, that would build Africa. These are people that are the future leaders of tomorrow. So I want an Africa where A, talent is retained. Two, if talent has migrated, that talent is repatriated mm. back to Africa. Yep. That is the Africa I want to see in 30 years. An Africa where I ask myself, what the heck am I doing here? I need the national firm in Nigeria. I need to go back and replicate what I'm doing because I trust the leaders, I trust the government, there's stability in policies, there's infrastructure, um, there is security. The, the, the basics are there and I don't need to worry about the basics. Rather, I, I worry about how to create opportunities for others because you know, the government that I trust is there to ensure that I succeed. That is the Africa yeah. that I, I wish to see in 30 years. Yeah. And you have mentioned something. You see, the number one job of uh, government is security. Okay. Security, people's lives, and their properties. Okay. See, once we have that, then uh, virtually everything else can be done by the people. Okay. If I'm sure that uh, my life is secure, okay. <laughs> if I'm sure that my property is secure, that the next guy cannot just come and take my property. Okay. The government will step in. If I complain, the government is stepping and through the process, they will get giving, giving back my property property. And I'm sure that's going to happen. Hey, I don't have anything to worry about. Worry about yeah. yeah. And uh, that's, that's actually the number one uh, role of government. Mm -hmm. Uh, Charles, it has been a wonderful session with you. Uh, Likewise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm so happy to see your success. And you are opening doors for others, okay, to be just like you. And that's, uh, that's uh, a fantastic thing you're doing. Thank you. So, Thank you very much for being a great uh, guest of the Think Big for Africa podcast. Thank you. Thank you for the platform. Like I said, uh, big ups for what you're doing. Yeah. You're creating awareness. Again, this is Africa succeeding. Yeah. Uh, you, you don't have to be in Africa for Africa to, Africa to succeed. 
uh, many of your audience might find inspiration here and there from these stories. Yeah. And yeah. People, people would make decisions that would benefit them because of one or two things they've heard others um, say on your show. So thank you for all you do. All right. Thank you very much. Take care. Thank Bye. You. Bye. Yeah.